This is Timothy Malcolm with a Record News Watch update. The National Transportation Safety Board on Wednesday was in Valhalla surveying the scene of the fatal Metro North Harlem Line train crash that killed six people, including the driver of the SUV who was parked in the railroad crossing. Senator Charles Schumer, he said the train was going about 58 miles an hour, which is within the speed limit. Uh, he said most trains are going at that area around 60 to 70 miles per hour. So the train was in the right speed limit. It was the second time this week, however, that a commuter train had a brush with a car in the local region. A car in tuxedo was parked in the railroad crossing and was struck by a New Jersey transit train. That driver is okay, however, she has been cited with summonses. We'll have much more on the fatal Metro North train accident, plus that tuxedo crash and other things regarding train accidents today at recordonline.com and Thursday in the Times-Herald Record. Last night, Middletown Mayor Joe DiStefano gave his annual State of the City address. He announced some surprises in Middletown, including the city is working with the Fallon Gun Group to locate a school at the former state psychiatric hospital site. They're also trying to lure a second medical school into the city after the success of the Toro Medical School. There are other initiatives involved as well, including an indoor soccer facility and a skateboard park. Check out more on that today at recordonline.com. Tonight, the Mamacating Planning Board meets, and they'll be going over Shalom Lamb's proposed girls' school. Lamb, of course, the developer who was controversial about his decision to build houses uh, for Hasidic people, marketed toward Hasidic people in Bloomingburg. We'll have much more tonight. Jeremiah Horgan will be on the scene in Mamacating for that. Check recordonline.com and Thursday's Times Herald Record. Your weather for tonight on the commute home, it's going to be potentially cold. Well, it's cold tonight, obviously, but potentially snowy tonight. We have light snow in the forecast. That'll be a little bit later on tonight. We might get an actual inch or so of snow, but it'll be very light spread out throughout the night, so you really won't get much of that accumulation. Tomorrow, there'll be snow continuing. Uh, could be a light development, maybe an inch or two at most, but again, very light and throughout the entire day, so don't expect much as form of a accumulation at one time. But tonight, highs are in the high teens. Check out more at recordonline.com for all of your news and information from the Hudson Valley and Catskills. For Record News Watch, I'm Timothy Malcolm.